Okay, so last time I talked about this ITX Llama. It's a brand new PC that's perfect for DOS retro games. If you missed it, I'll put a link up in the corner here. Today I have a Raspberry Pi and I'm going to connect it to the Llama for some MIDI magic. Let's find out more. Back in 1987, Roland Corporation introduced the MT32 MIDI synthesizer. It was intended for musicians and professional use, but it became a de facto standard for PC games. You see, at the time, there was no general MIDI standard. A MIDI file written for one device would sound completely different on another. PC developers needed a standard, and they found one with the MT32. Many developers, especially Sierra, adopted the MT32 for state-of-the-art sound, a significant quality boost over traditional ad-lib audio. Fast forward to 2024, and the problem is availability. Roland stopped making the MT32 back in the 90s, and today they're getting rare and expensive. This is where the Pi comes in. Thanks to the wonderful MT32 Pi project, we can now turn this humble Raspberry Pi into a working MT32 synth. And luckily for me, the ITX Llama has this dedicated expansion port for exactly that. To get started, I needed to add this 40 pin connector to the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. Since I'm terrible with a soldering iron, I used hammer pins. Second, I installed the MT32 Pi software onto this micro SD card, which goes into the Pi just here. Third, we install it to the ITX Llama, just like this. Easy. Last but not least, we need to change the jumpers, J25, J26, and J27. We need to move them to the right to activate Pi Audio. OK, now that's all done, let's power it up. OK, let's try a game. We'll use Secret of Monkey Island. First, a reminder of what regular ad-lib audio sounds like. Okay, now we've heard that, it's time to try the Pi.
As a bonus, the Pi can also emulate a general MIDI synth. We can switch mode using the MT32 Pi control utility. MT32 Pi minus G. And now we're in fluid synth mode, which allows us to emulate general MIDI. Now let's try Doom. Superb. So another ace up the sleeve of this ITX Llama. As mentioned before, I love this little PC and there's more to come. As always, questions and comments down below. Enjoy.